guys, what's what's that firmware hits? Do you guys believe that you'll be able to add it to three, add it to the um PS3, or is that something that has to be like you know done in the process of developing the game in the first place, in terms of adding 3D? Um, I'm not sure. I'm, okay. I'm gonna have to get back to you on that one. Uh, okay. It's uh, it's uh, I would love to see it. It's a possibility, problem. but I'm you know I can't promise anything. Okay, no problem, no problem. Now, the last question, and this is like I think like the main thing I want to say right now. Um, Bat Battlefield has gone through like a lot of changes because when the first one re was released, a lot of people they liked it, but it didn't get the reception that a lot of the you know EA wanted. You know what I'm saying? This one, you're really blowing people away. I just want to say personally, I want to congratulate you guys for changing Call of Duty's title because they just announced that they're going to go in a more action adventure um, space instead of just strictly first person shooters. And one of the reasons why, besides all the hacking that was going on with their game, was because of what people were saying about your title. You guys really set the bar, man, and I just want to congratulate you guys, and I also want to know how does it feel to, e even though Modern Warfare had all these sales, in terms of overall game quality, how does it feel to really surpass, you know, what Activision Infinity War put out? Um, I mean, it feels great to do our own thing. I mean, we're we're really try happy about this game and and how how it's uh, how it's been received by everybody and and especially you know the the great reception it's 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 been uh, getting now when it's out. So uh, it just feels good to uh, to to see that it pays off the the bets we've taken with this game. Basically. That's what I'm talking about. So listen, that was my man Low. One love and God bless, and I'm going to holler at y'all later. Bad Company 2, if you don't, listen, if you don't got that game yet, son, put the damn controller down, stop playing Modern Warfare for a minute. You need to see what Bad Company 2 is about. And if you don't believe me, I'm going to have my homegirl Cheryl co-sign on it right now. So Cheryl, come here. <laughs> oh, she ran away. All right, so I'm going to have Kelly co -sign. Kelly. What? Kelly, just say go buy B Bad Company 2 now. Go buy Battlefield Bad Company 2 now. Yeah. <laughs> and we out. Peace. Watching a master at work. Yeah, yeah, it's the hip hop gamer show. R Double S, that is. Now, check this out. Welcome to the hip hop R Double S. And yo, I gotta give a big shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to Jay Z, man. Finally, they made progress with breaking new ground. So, we're gonna have our own basketball team, Brooklyn Nets. Now, even though they suck horribly, when they come to Brooklyn, I think they're going to be intimidated enough to realize that they're going to have to play some real ball. We don't want no another New York Knicks team here. Now, if the Brooklyn Nets is going to be representing Brooklyn, step your game up, baby. Because you know we're going to let you have it if you garbage. No more 6-53 and 53 records. All right? I'm telling you. But anyway, congratulations to Jay-Z bringing Brooklyn, bringing Brooklyn a stadium. We, yo, we love you for that. That's going to be crazy, man. We're doing it, man. Shout out to Notorious B.I.G. too. Now, another thing I want to speak on is, uh, this is kind of interesting. Check this out. The Fugees. The director of that song, Kill Killing Me Softly, deserves to get 8,000 years in jail, and he needs to have his fingernails peeled off or something like that. How are you going to be impregnating your own daughters? Just to have a pure bloodline in your family, dog. This dude was having sex with his daughters. Calling his daughters his wives. He got over 20 kids. He don't deserve to be out in the street, in the public. Nothing. like he does, he, He's supposed to be under the jail with water or something like that. It. Like, it's crazy. Like I don't understand. You know what I mean? So... That right there is some disturbing news, but I had to let you guys know because things like that is not what hip hop is about. Even though he's involved in hip hop, it is just horrible, and he he's really gonna get what he deserves because he's getting locked up. Now, next thing I wanna say is this: Beanie Siegel and Freeway they got a brand new song called "Under Attack." Now, one one thing that I like. Not so much about this song, but about Beanie Siegel right now is that he's. It seems like he's leaving Jay Z alone, and it's so good because I feel that, you know, he said what he had to say to Jay. Jay didn't respond, and the fact that Jay didn't respond, I think that whole shit about I'm too big to respond. No, I don't think he's too big to respond because he he still understands hip hop, 
And the, the only thing is that I believe that he really couldn't respond because the things that Beanie Siegel was saying was right. And so instead of responding, just leave the situation alone, don't speak, because I am big enough to where this situation will blow over. It blew over. Beanie Siegel obviously realizes that. The streets know what's real, and now he can move on. And this new song, Under Attack, is definitely moving on. This joint is fire. Make sure you check it out. Beanie Siegel and Freeway. I'm telling you, they getting it in with this one. Under Attack, baby. Now, the next thing I want to say is this. Jim Jones, Jimmy Jones, baby, is actually looking forward to becoming a school teacher for music. Like, like in one of the high schools out in Harlem. Let me tell you right now, I guarantee you that you will not hear that on the news. I guarantee you CNN is not going to pick this up or nothing. Now, if they say Jim Jones shot somebody at high school, CNN will be all over it. But I guarantee you CNN, Fox, all these companies is not going to say not one word about Jim Jones being in the music industry, successful in the music industry, and bringing that same mentality to a classroom to help other kids that's inspired to be musicians as well. I guarantee you that they don't they don't cover this. But you know what? They call me Hip Hop Gamer. I'm gonna cover it. I wanna give a big shout out to Jim Jones. And everybody out there that's listening, yo, like, encourage that. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out there that's lost and don't got no family, don't got nobody to believe in them. If Jim Jones, the people that, a lot of people look up Jim Jones, if he's gonna take that time to become a teacher for school, in school for music, imagine the kids that's gonna listen to him because of what he's done and the respect that they got. That's gonna help those kids out a lot. So a big shout out to Jim Jones for doing something major in the community and giving back that way, giving yourself back to us. That right there is crazy. So shout out to Jim Jones. Now, we're at the end of the show. I want to say one love. I want to say God bless. Make sure you join the website. And at the end of the day, seriously, I really, 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 really thank you guys so much. Now, stay tuned because in a couple of weeks, your boy Hip Hop is going to PAX. And it's my first time going to PAX. But when I go out there, I'm smashing everything. It's going to be crazy, man. Alright? So, one love. God bless again. And I'm going to catch you guys next week, Sunday. Ain't nothing else to do. Peace.